Apex's heirlooms are diverse and unique, at least they used to be, and some of them have weird features and secrets that you may have missed or just never seen before. Like when Wraith got her heirloom recolor and brand new animations added to the heirloom, one of them did something very unique, as when you crouch and inspect, Wraith draws a W on the spot you're looking at. The weird thing is, this W stays after the animation ends, and also people in the lobby can see this W, making this the first heirloom animation that other people in the lobby can actually see, and also the first heirloom animation that remains after the animation finishes. And even people have spotted this W in firing ranges and got confused to what it was. It's cool that Respawn have the tech for this type of animation, but it's a shame they've never done it again. For Fuse's heirloom though, aka the last unique heirloom to release, Respawn did something strange. As you may notice when using this heirloom, whenever you slide, you can actually see one of your legs. Making this the only heirloom in Apex to show you your legs while you slide for some reason. And it's even weirder when you realize this is the only item in Apex that allows you to see your leg while you're sliding. You can't with guns, you can't while unarmed, it makes no sense. I don't know why Respawn added his leg with his heirloom, but honestly, it works, and I'm definitely a fan of it. I need to get every single penny out of those skins I bought for him, man. Although Valk's heirloom has a very cool feature that is completely unique to her heirloom. As in this inspect animation right here, she flings an explosive. And the strange part is, this animation creates an explosion about 10 meters away from you after you fling the explosive. And the explosive is in the game world, which is pretty weird. You can't actually damage any enemies with this explosion or do any damage to the environment with this explosion, but it does create an explosion in the game world, which is pretty cool. And it does make me think back to Team Fortress 2, where you can kill people with emotes. Hey, maybe Apex could do with that. Onto the Bangalore heirloom though, this one has some pretty interesting lore, as this knife right here was actually stolen from a pilot in the Apex Legends story, making this a pilot knife. But when you combine this heirloom with Bangalore's prestige skin, you can make a full pilot loadout, where you have a pilot skin and a pilot knife. And legend heirlooms do often intertwine with their lore a lot, like with Pathfinder. Pathfinder found a passion for boxing, and now his heirlooms are boxing gloves, and his town takeover is a boxing town takeover. Here's an interesting thing though, if you go to the Olympus fight night ring right now with any legend that has an heirloom, the game will force you to put your heirloom away, and you fight bare knuckle in the ring. The only legend this doesn't apply apply to is Pathfinder, as he's the only legend that can bring his heirloom into the ring because they're boxing gloves, which is a cool feature coded in by Respawn, and I appreciate the dedication on this one. Although my favourite secret for Octane's heirloom was released with his heirloom recolor, where he got a brand new secret hit animation, where if Octane hits with his heirloom, there's a very, very low chance this animation will play, where Octane hits the enemy with a choro and shouts, Choro! <laughs> Meaning this is an heirloom exclusive voice line, which is very rare to get, so if you get this, you're lucky. A great heirloom secret though was released in Season 7 with Gibraltar's heirloom, where his heirloom animation actually changes depending on what skin he's wearing, as he has this animation here where he takes his shield off his arm and inspects it. Pretty solid, but obviously, because this is Apex, we have a lot of skins, and Gibraltar's skins often drastically change his shield appearance, making this animation vary a lot depending on what skin you're wearing. Honestly, in my opinion, the best skins for this animation are either the Frozen Magma skin or the Golden Guardian skin. Although the Bull skin looks really good with this animation, and also if you use the DJ Gibby skin, he straight up pulls out a deck and inspects it. This animation literally changes meaning with every skin you pull out. I mean, you can roleplay as a DJ or roleplay as a guy who likes to collect bull schools. Not bull schools. Although, if you want a fact about bulls and heirlooms, if you owned the crypto heirloom a few seasons ago and activated this glitch where you could freeze his emote and have the emote effects around you, you could actually create this with Crypto's heirloom. A sword and two bulls. There's absolutely nothing weird about this. Don't make this weird, there's nothing weird about this. This glitch would also work with his other emotes, and uh, I don't see why Respawn patched this glitch. Honestly, it was completely harmless. Uh, no harm done, right? Also, here's a quick second fact for Crypto. His heirloom recolor was the only heirloom to release, apart from the original ones that released with the game, with literally zero announcement. One day, his heirloom recolor just appeared in the store, and it does look pretty solid, if not better than the original, and came 
game with a finisher. Respawn didn't sell this in a collection event for some reason, they just released it to the game on a random Tuesday. Let's cleanse our minds with something cute though, because Watson's cute, right? And you can actually get her heirloom right now in the store through this weird store collection event thing, which is not worth talking about right now. But I want to talk about is her heirloom, as it's pretty cool, it's like a little game controller energy reader thing. And the interesting feature with Watson's heirloom is she actually controls herself with her joystick on her heirloom. This is a really cool and cute little feature, and despite Watson's heirloom being absolutely clowned when it released, I still think it's one of the best because it's unique and provides many unique little secrets and ideas in it, and it even has a giant Nessie easter egg. If you want more heirloom animations though, Respawn actually released a bunch of new ones with Season 23 that a lot of people haven't talked about, as Respawn are planning to recolor Bloodhound's heirloom soon, and because of that, they released loads of new animations for Bloodhound's heirloom, including this one, and this one, and this one, and these are all active for free in the game for anybody who owns the Bloodhound heirloom. This does also mean there's going to be a recolor sold this season of the heirloom, and I just hope Respawn don't sell it for a ridiculous amount. Speaking of heirloom recolors though, I think the most drastic heirloom recolor we've ever had was with Revenant's heirloom, as it originally looked like this, and then with the recolor it turned into this with plenty of cool new animations, but with this recolor Respawn added a few little features that take it beyond a recolor, like these holograms here, these these are brand new and they weren't present on the original heirloom. Respawn wrote a bit of extra code to have holograms on it. This is what the recolors are all about. New cool animations and a new cool look. Although I wish Respawn weren't too scared of just making a new heirloom for Legends overall. Giving Legends a second heirloom wouldn't hurt. Although they seem to be quite focused on universal heirlooms right now and we're not leaving these out of the video. We actually have backs for them. Like the Serpent Sting heirloom is the only heirloom in the game to react to your kills as it can count up your kills <coughs> if you buy that add-on that costs money. And you know what, a kill counter in Apex wouldn't hurt. Titanfall 2 had stat track kill counters, so why can't Apex? We already have trackers. Before we talk about more universal heirloom facts though, let's talk about Rampar's heirloom, as her heirloom could get you banned. Well, not really, but she has a your mum joke with this heirloom animation right here. Mm, my favourite flavour, your mum's tears. <laughs> the funny thing is though, Respawn, after this heirloom released, started banning people for making your mum jokes. Yes, I'm serious. This is literally 1984. But beware, it's not just your mum jokes getting banned. Also, if you mention mums at all, this could also get you banned. Yes, I think EA have to brush up on the auto-moderator system a little bit. Although, a Respawn developer did reply to this post and get this sorted. Speaking of mum jokes, let's move on to Loba's heirloom, because she loves your mum jokes. But her heirloom actually has a really interesting crouch animation, as if you crouch and inspect with her heirloom, she'll pull up a mask and she'll put it on, and then you can just walk around in a mask for a bit. There's absolutely no tactical advantage to this, but I guess it could make you feel better about spending $500 on a hand fan. Although spending $500 on some electric drumsticks might be a bit more acceptable. Although what's not acceptable is this is one of the only dual wield heirlooms to exist, apart from the Pathfinder heirloom and also the Seer heirloom. Which is a massive shame because the style of dual wield is so cool. Bangalore's original heirloom before it was cancelled was apparently meant to be dual wield, and also in Wraith's Mythic emote, she uses dual wield knives. But apart from that, we've seen no more dual wield in Apex. But let's move on to the fact that Mirage's heirloom has a really immersive detail that I haven't seen respawn top in a long time, as Mirage's heirloom is the only heirloom that will change the appearance of your skin when you have it out. This is because whenever Mirage is holding a gun or no heirloom, his goggles will be up. But whenever he's holding his heirloom, his goggles will slide down, making this the only heirloom to change the appearance of his skin, which is so cool, and I wish Respawn did more of this, because it's tiny little features like this that make the heirlooms worth it. The only other time his goggles go down is when you're skydiving. Also, this heirloom animation right here has replayability, as it plays several different voice lines when activating this animation. It seems the early Apex heirlooms did have quite a lot of creativity. Ow, 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 why? I'm just kidding. Seriously, easier. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Everyone should have one. Should be a law. For the Karambit though, this is a universal heirloom, meaning it can be equipped on any legend, and because of that, it does have a very interesting feature that isn't present on any other heirloom. Because when playing this spinning animation with the Karambit heirloom, only certain legends can actually successfully do it, like Wraith and Alter. And the legends who can't complete this animation, like Conduit and Watson, always drop the knife before that animation finishes, which is a pretty cool feature. So if you want to be really clumsy, equip the heirloom to Watson and she'll never be able to finish this animation 
animation, or if you want to look cool, equip this element to Wraith, where she'll never fail the animation. And it is a very cool animation. But unfortunately for Horizon, she can never successfully finish the Karamba animation. But on her own heirloom, she can use it pretty well because she knows how it works. Although there's a pretty funny secret in Horizon's heirloom, more specifically, this voice line where she says, Took some time to make this one. Even longer than you, Newtie. This is a cheeky reference to the amount of time it took Respawn to release this heirloom, as Horizon came out in Season 7, and her heirloom was released in Season 17. People had to wait 10 seasons for this heirloom, and it became a meme. And in this voice line, Horizon said the heirloom took even longer than it took to make Newt, which is a reference to the fact that it took longer for Respawn to make Horizon's heirloom than it took for them to make Horizon, as it took 7 seasons to release Horizon, but it took 10 extra seasons to release her heirloom. The fans have a lot of sway over the game, and I think they had a lot of sway over Ash's heirloom as well. As when Ash released, this art went viral, saying, oh, this should be Ash's heirloom. So, lo and behold, when Ash's heirloom actually released, Respawn added this animation right here, which I'm 99% sure is a reference to this original post from all the way back when Ash released. I guess whoever took this picture has bigger cultural significance than they can ever expect. Around the time this fan art was being drawn up, though, a legend got leaked, and this legend was called Pariah. Little did we know, this legend would slowly be changed after getting leaked until they were turned into what we know as Seer. So basically, Pariah was developed into Seer, and this wasn't fully confirmed to us until Seer got his heirloom, and in this animation right here where he draws on an iPad, we can see him sketching up his various logo concepts. And one of them says Pariah, but it's crossed out. For the Qatar, I don't really have a cool fact for this because there's not much cool going on about it, apart from the fact that a Respawn developer did admit the customization system on this heirloom might have been more effort than it was worth. So this might be the only customizable heirloom we're ever gonna see in Apex because basically it's cheaper and more efficient to make like six variants rather than give people a full range of customization. And finally, our final heirloom and heirloom fact. The spider on this rare caustic heirloom animation is actually a sized down spider from the Halloween event. And the funny thing is, this heirloom was released in season 6 with this spider animation, and this exact spider here would later become the spider PvE enemy on Stormpoint. I found this out by taking the spider from Caustic's heirloom and sizing it up and realizing, yeah, these are the same things. And that's it, a fact for every heirloom in Apex. So, for old time's sake, let me just say, subscribe for an heirloom.